Hello my dear ones, welcome to my YouTube channel Innovative Learning with Samina. In today's session, we are going to talk about properties of addition of integers. So let's get started. There are five main properties of addition of integers. First, closure property of addition. Second, commutative property of addition. Third, associative property of addition. Fourth, additive identity. And fifth, additive inverse. Let's discuss the first property closure property of addition. It states that the sum of two integers is always an integer. Let us understand this property through example. Look at this table. When integers are added, look at their sums. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Minus 4 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 11. Minus 2 plus 8 is equal to 6. Minus 12 plus 4 is equal to minus 8. Now the question arises, is the sum of two integers an integer? So the answer to this question is yes. The sum of two integers is an integer. Therefore, this property tells us if a and b are any two integers, then a plus b will also be an integer. Commutative property of addition tells us that even if the order of numbers is changed, its result remains the same. For example, 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 and 6 plus 5 is also equal to 11. 4 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 3 and minus 7 plus 4 is also equal to minus 3. As you can see, I have changed the order of the numbers, but still the result remains the same. Therefore, this property tells us that if a and b are any two integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. Associative property of addition states that the way of grouping of numbers will not change the result. For example, for adding numbers 5, 6 and 4, I first grouped 6 and 4 then added 5 to the result of 6 and 4 that is 10. So 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. Then to add the same numbers I grouped 5 and 6 first and then added 4 to the result of 5 and 6. That is 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. So in both the cases, I group the numbers in different ways, but still my answer remains the same. Let us take another example. To add numbers minus 2, minus 3 and minus 5, I first grouped minus 3 and minus 5 and tried to solve the equation where I got the result as minus 10. Same equation I tried to solve by grouping different numbers this time, minus 2 and minus 3. And I got the same result as minus 10. So this property clearly tells us that if a, b and c are any integers, then grouping a and b and then adding c will always be equal to grouping of b and c and then adding a. Let us now discuss Additive identity. This property states that when any integer is added to 0, it will give the same number. For example, 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 or 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. So for every integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a or 0 plus a is equal to a. The integer 0 is called the additive identity. Additive inverse property states that if any number is added to its opposite number, the sum should be 0. Look at this example. Let's say a is equal to 5, 
So the inverse of 5 is minus 5. When these two numbers are added together, we get the result 0. Therefore, for every integer a, there exists an integer minus a, such that a plus minus a is equal to 0, or minus a plus a is equal to 0.